Hey friends, don't look at my hair. This is the Miss Volvi from our Half Acre Homestead and today we're going to build a lamp. Okay, here we have a hanging lamp that my friend Natalie gave me. It used to have a globe in it. Um, but I'm going to build a hanging lamp for over my chair because my old lamp table, well, the lamp just kind of fell apart. So uh, I got Howie to take the lamp part right off the table, leave the table, and we're gonna rebuild this into a hanging lamp. What I have here is 10 foot of chain. You don't necessarily need it, but I got it. And, but you do, if you are going to get it, you want the kind that is split so that the links can be opened and used to attach it to lamps and whatnot. I have 12 feet of lamp cord. Don't make the mistake I did and grab the speaker wire cord, cut it, and then find out you have to pay for it because you got the wrong wire. This is lamp cord. And I have a, a plug, which I wasn't sure how to figure out how to put it on, but you take it out here and uh, we'll show you in a minute. And I've got a light socket with the pull chain because the one on the old lamp fell apart. All right, let's get started. Now, like I said, this looks like to have had a globe on it, one of those white globe things. So we're just going to take this knob off and nut that should be holding this all together. And this should just unscrew from the cross piece. Okay. Here's our knob that our chain is going to be attached to. And here is the nut and the little washers. And here is our threaded bar. We have to take this part off the threaded bar so that we can put the threaded bar onto this piece. Okay, now we've got our wire through. We're going to loosen this little screw here. so that it does not impede our rod in any way. And we're going to push our, and we're going to screw this onto the rod until you know it's gone up, until it, you can feel it bang. You can f actually feel it butt up against it. Then we're going to tighten our screw. Save the other washers and the other nut, because once it goes through this hole right here, the other nut and washer is going to have to go over the rod and screw it down so that we hold it all in place. Now, we split our wire. Sometimes only a steak knife will do. Try to be careful not to expose the wire until you're ready to use it. By melting the plastic casing off, because it has a spot in the wire cutters that will allow me to strip. It has a little notch right at the bottom of the wire cutters so that you can strip your wires. So we'll melt the other one. I don't, you don't have to melt them. I just, it's a habit I got into when I wasn't using wire strippers. Okay, so here we've taken this off. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put our thumb in here and we're gonna pop this right out of its casing. It's got a cardboard case and we're gonna do the same with that. We're gonna pop that right out and see we now have the bare socket. And here is our, go, our brass and our silver colored screws. Now, we'll take our little screwdriver and we are going to loosen these screws that hold these in place. I don't know what it is, folks. Maybe it's because my father worked for, as a light repair man for the Toronto Hydro for 29 years. But I got a thing about lamps. I love lamps. Okay, so now our screws are loosened. And we're just going to take one copper, one side. We're going to bend it. You may want to twist it so there's no loose copper wires. And you're going to make them into hooks. Hooks facing each other. Just 
just like that. And one hook is going to go around the base of the silver screw and holding it in place with your thumb. Lefty loosey, righty tighty, we tighten it down. And we do the same with the other side. Put the hook around the base, hold it with your thumb or finger, and and there we go. We have, we're going to slide our cardboard insulator back over this and you want to make sure that this is completely covered with the cardboard insulator. Why? Because we're going to be putting a metal sleeve on it and you don't want metal against those nuts or it'll short. This is your insulator. Make sure your wires go right under that cardboard just like that. And then we can pull the cord up and it'll pull this right back into your cap. See, that's insulated there so that the wires aren't exposed. Now we're just going to take our sleeve and slip it back over and push that up inside the cap. Before we put the knob and the chain on, our cord has to go up through this hole in the cross brace until the threaded bar goes through the hole in the cross brace. And since Daddy was so nice to put the chain on here, I'm not going to ask him to come and take it off. I'm just going to try and thread my wire through. This wire is going to be going up through the chains, what's so got to come up through the cap that's going to screw on that threaded rod. We're going to push our cap down and screw it onto the threaded rod, which would have been a lot easier if I'd have left the chain on off it until after I did this. But that's okay. Now you want your cap pulling this nice and snug. You don't want your socket loose all over the place. Now, okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go in here with my screwdriver and pop it. He did it with his fingers in the store. That's what threw me off. And we're going to pop it. See that? These little tabs hold it in place. Okay. Now, we are going to thread our cord again through, through the sheath. We are going to separate our wire. There we go. And as the same, we're going to twist our copper ends. That, see? One on one side, just like that. We will screw or tighten our nut down. The other one on the other side. Your hook of copper wire goes under your screw. And we tighten that screw down. Okay. Now we take this little hooey dewey rubber thingamajiggy and pull it back down over the exposed wires and push it into place until these little tabs pop back through the hole and you can grab it with your screwdriver tip and pull that tab right out. Now one thing I did do is I made the cord 12 feet long and the chain only 10 feet so that it, I, don't have an elect, I don't have anything metal clunking up against the, the plug in the wall. Just it's just me. All right, there it is. Let's get Daddy to hang it up. Okay, tell people what you just told me. You should hook your wire through the chain on your upward every couple loops. Otherwise, it just looks here, it just falls right out. So, I'm going to paper clip a few spots and it'll be fine. Thank so you, you, dear. Went, went through every two, you wouldn't have this issue. issue. 
See folks, between the two of us we get her done. Now here we go. There it is. My light over my chair so I can sit and quilt. This is the Miss Evolvi from our Half Acre Homestead saying if somebody gives you a glass lampshade, now you know how to turn it into a lamp. Take care. Bye-bye.